What is this piece of cloth all about? And how do you use it in model rocketry? That's what I'm gonna talk about in this episode. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. This piece of cloth right here is called a recovery shield, or um, it goes by different names, but basically this is reusable wadding. This cloth is a special cloth. Um, it's either made out of Nomex or a welding cloth. Um, so basically it's, it's really fire resistant. So, um, and the purpose like wadding is to protect your parachute from getting holes in it. So here's a parachute here. And you know, I've got a nice little hole in it, unfortunately. Um, so what we want to do is protect the parachute from that happening because you don't want to ruin a nice nylon cloth parachute. Um, so when you install these on your rocket, um, there will be like a buttonhole on one corner. Um, what I always do is wrap the cord, or the, you know, the, the shock cord comes through the hole and then wraps around and goes through a second time before I attach it to the nose cone. And what this does, it prevents the piece of cloth from sliding up and down the shock cord. And I try to get it as close to the mouth of the tube as possible. You don't have to, but that's kind of a good area that I use. That's my just personal preference. Um, so I don't, we don't want it to slide up and down because there is a chance that if you attach your parachute to the shock cord, it could um, collapse the parachute. We don't want that to happen. Um, this particular rocket, I have the shroud lines attached to the loop on the nose cone right here. Um, some people will take their shock cord. This is kind of getting in the way on me here. <laughs> um, and they'll, they'll take the cord like this and then do an overhand knot in it and get a loop like that. And they can attach your parachute to this if the loop on the nose cone is weak or if it's too small to get the shroud lines through like on this one here. Um, so, and if that Nomex cloth or the welding cloth would to um, slide up that tube, it could slide over that knot and then slide up the shroud lines and collapse that parachute. So that's what we wanna prevent from happening. Uh, whether you attach it to the nose cone or to the shock cord, the parachute is totally fine. That's, that's a lot of it is personal preference. Um, so don't get too concerned that your, you know, yours is not attached to the um, shock cord. So I wanted to show you how to prep this for flight. Okay, so I got my Nomex cloth and you wanna spread it out. Let's see if I can get this to balance here so that it doesn't move on me. <laughs> blocking this camera over here. Okay, so. Okay, so. Hopefully we can see this. You wanna take your parachute and you're gonna fold up your parachute. Um, I always recommend folding parachutes instead of just grabbing them and, and wadding them up. Um, so when you fold a parachute, you know, you want to lay it flat um, and fold it in half and so that all the corners match up. So here's a corner, here's a corner, here's a corner, here's a corner. Okay, so I got them all ma matched up and then I'm going to fold it in half again. And keep folding them until you get all the shroud lines into one bundle like this. Okay, and then we're gonna fold it again, fold it again. So now we're getting a long spike. And then you wanna zigzag fold this. So the zigzag, I stick my hand in here, fold it across, and then fold this across too. So it's kind of like a Z fold. 
so it's bundled like that and then I'll take it and fold it one more time like that and now if it's a high power rocket like this one right here I'm going to take the shroud lines and roll it wrap it around the parachute but I want to instead of just wrapping it like this we want to actually take the parachute and roll the parachute so we're rolling the lines you can see the lines stay nice and straight as it's being rolled up this prevents it from you know twisting on us because we want it to open fast and um, you know and keep all the lines from twisting together so I'm just going back and forth like this till I get it all wound up okay now I'm going to take that and I'm going to stick it inside of my Nomex or just lay it on top and then we want to fold this up like a burrito so I take the corners and fold them in it's so close to the bottom that this tube wants to roll off the table so I just roll it up we call these the burrito so everything, all the parachute is inside except for this little piece of shroud line right here and our um, shock cord right here. And then at this point, I can stuff it into the tube. And then on top of that will go the shock cord like this. Okay, pretty easy. And then when the parachute deploys, it'll come out and it's going to pull the burrito out and it's going to start um, extending and it's going to pull that parachute out at the same time it's still you know elongating the shock cord so the shock cord is going to extend all the way out and this is going to be out before it's all the way extended but now the parachute has to unroll itself too so we're actually slowing the parachute from opening a little bit just because it has to unroll and then when it gets to its full length then it's going to inflate just like that so you know the important thing is to make sure that the entire parachute is inside the Nomex or your your heat shield um, so that you don't get any you know burn marks on it like this one had now this is going to get dirty and sooty and you might get some burn holes in this, but I'd rather get a burn hole in this than a burn hole in my parachute. Um, these are replaceable. They're also washable, so you can wash them out. This one's actually nice and clean. I don't think this one's ever flown. Um, and if you want to put some extra wadding in the tube, that's perfectly fine. You can do that. It doesn't hurt. Um, the whole purpose of this was to try to avoid putting wadding in there, but if you want extra protection, you know, you can put some, you know, the regular Estes recovery wadding inside. Or you can also use what's called dog barf. Dog barf is a cellulose home insulation. It's blown inside the walls on houses or in attics. Um, and it's been treated with a flame retardant. And it's just ground up cellulose fibers like old newspapers. Um, and you can take a big old handful of that and then also shove that in the tube. But again, this, the whole purpose of this is to try to, you know, eliminate all that extra mess of putting that in the tube. You know, it just simplifies things. Um, and again, these are reusable. So hopefully that will give you a little idea on how to use a recovery blanket like this. Uh, my name is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.